Hi, I'm Trish from Honey Pie's Recipes, and today I'm going to teach you how to clean mushrooms. This is a portobello mushroom. These are great. You see them all the time as an appetizer or even an entree or a vegetarian burger. Uh, they're roasted and they're piled high with all kinds of stuffings that can be grained. There's delicious things that you can do, but first you have to clean them. So what I like to do is just take a wet paper towel and wash the top. They're really big. They're easy to just scrape. They're typically not too dirty, but they do grow in a loose dirt and sometimes that dirt it is on the top or underneath. So you just want to make sure that you wipe that away. And that's perfect. I'm just going to gently pull off the stem. And then I'm going to scrape away the gills. They tend to be a little bitter, so I take them out. But the other thing is, it makes a deeper hole for whatever your stuffing is. And that's good. OK, so this one is done. And in this bag, I have some assorted mushrooms. I have your typical button mushroom, a shiitake mushroom, and a cremini mushroom. And the cremini is actually a baby portobello. I'm taking all of these mushrooms, dumping in them in water. Oh, run away. And I know that you have been told that mushrooms are like sponges and will pick up water and that you should never do this. But if you are like me, you do not want to take these little mushrooms, and if you have a lot of them, and wash the tops of each of them individually. It takes much, much too long. So yes, you can put them in water, swirl them around, get any loose dirt off them, take a strainer, dump your mushrooms, and then we're just going to place them on a towel and rub them dry. After we drain them, take a nice cloth, dump your mushrooms out, and then we're just going to dry them. Okay? It's not enough time. They're not spending enough time in the water to absorb anything. We're drying them quickly. They're going to be just fine, so don't worry about it. Now the next thing we need to do is trim them. The shiitake mushrooms, the stems are inedible. They're very, very hard. So you want to cut those off very close to the top, like this. Okay. So there you've trimmed your shiitake mushrooms. They're stemless. Now with the cremini, all you have to do is just take a little bit off the bottom. That, that part is a little dry and woody, and that's fine. You can leave the stem in if you're going to eat the mushrooms without stuffing them. If you're going to stuff them, then you would want to pull the stem out like that. Save this part, though, because that can be chopped up and put into your filling. But there's a nice little cremini mushroom that can be stuffed and roasted. Button mushroom, you handle the same way as the cremini. You want to take out the stem if you're going to stuff it. You also want to remove the woody end, but save this for the filling. And there we have cleaning mushrooms. Very, very simple. Thanks for watching Honey Pie's Recipes and letting me bring my kitchen to yours.